In this lecture, we'll work with adding backgrounds to elements using the background property. To begin, we'll need to create a file with our basic HTML structure as shown here. Once you've created this file, save it as backgrounds.html. We'll be applying a background to a div. So let's go ahead and create our div tags in the body. We'll also need to create an ID selector so we can reference the ID that will contain the background declarations for this div. Let's set that up in our, in our style sheet. So we'll create a style sheet with the, with the open and close style tags. Now let's insert our ID. We will call it div1. Now create the following declarations for this ID. Most of these declarations should look familiar. The background color declaration allows us to set a background color to an element. The value can be a color name, as we have here, the color blue. It can be a hexadecimal number or an RGB color code, all three of which we've worked with in the past. Let's apply this ID to our div and preview it in our web browser. So save the file and preview it. As you can see, our div has a blue background as defined in the background color declaration. In addition to a color background, we can also use an image as a background. To do this, we need to use the background image declaration. We'll use the image stored in the downloads folder corresponding to this lecture. The image, the image is a JPEG file and its dimensions are 204 pixels in width by 204 pixels in height. To add the background image, we'll need to replace background, the background color declaration with background image. Now we need to indicate the path for this background image. And the image is in the same folder as this HTML document, so all I have to do is plug in the name of the file. Now save your file again and preview it just to see the change. This is what your div should look like after adding the background image declaration. We can see that the background image was applied to our div and also repeated so it fills the entire div with the specified image. Let's say we only wanted to repeat the background horizontally or along the x-axis. To do this, we can use the background repeat declaration. This declaration, repeat x, as the value, will repeat the background only along the x-axis, as you can see here. We can do the same vertically by changing the declaration to repeat y instead of repeat x.
If we didn't want the background to repeat at all, we would use the no repeat declaration. And this is the this is the actual image. Uh, and the background here is not repeating. Now say we wanted to specify the, the position of the background image placement. We can do that using the background position declaration. We'll center. We'll set the position as center. And we can see that the background now no longer repeats and is also situated in the center of our div. There are also several other position values you can use as shown. At this point, you can go ahead and try different combinations of these declarations to see the effect each one will have on the end result.